like my eyes just zooming on the ball. And everything that you were hearing from before just shuts off. Can't stop working now. I'm so close to my dream. Getting to university, I was not pushing myself. I was not motivated at the time. Since 2010, I've been playing football. Football was just motivating me to do better, to do what I need to do in life. And, you know, if you keep on pushing yourself and find that one thing you love to do, you can go far in life. When I heard I was, might not be able to play football, I think it was like a slap in the face. Yeah, am I really not gonna play because of money? Is that the reason why? Are my, are my dreams are in jeopardy? What's gonna happen now? Life just hit you pretty much. I believe anyone who cares about your community should step up and help out. I became painfully aware that a lot of our kids could not afford to play. So what my family and I decided to do was to start an SOS fund to give kids the opportunity who, through no fault of their own, don't have the funds to be able to afford to play in a sport, to become leaders within our society, to help give back. Sport is a great way to do that. In the work that we do at Toronto Foundation, we, we help people enable legacies. In Kathy's case, you know, she came to us with this very specific need around building this legacy. And through our expertise in the work, we were able to figure out how to, how to make that real and how to make the difference that they want to make. They've done a lot for me in my life. And I'm grateful. I see coaching as a way of giving back. The end is going to be there, come straight through the A gap. Prove to the kids that like, you can get somewhere and realize that anything is possible. I'm incredibly passionate about football, but I'm probably more passionate about what football can do for youth in our city and the development of young men. Skills like leadership, on, skills like teamwork, skills like commitment, skills like hard work will, will serve them well uh, beyond their years and you know, on the gridiron. It's not all just about great athletes, it's about developing great people. If we want people to derive all this wonderful benefit from good sport, if we want communities to be able to come together and connect around sport, that we need to make sure anyone who wants to play has that opportunity to play. We're teaching these kids not only a sport, but we're teaching them life skills. And we're teaching them to give back to the community. This is something that is not just meant for a small community, but can help a country. Anything is possible.